let's give a very warm welcome to tonight's keynote speaker, Tanuja Dene. Wow, I am so happy and thrilled to be here. What a true honor. Hi, everybody. I'm Tanusha Daney, the president and CEO of the Geraldine R. Dodge Foundation. And again, I am just taken aback. I am so proud of all of you. I am so excited to be here. Um, we are also so grateful at the Dodge Foundation to partner with Rising Tide Capital. Um, the spirit, the transformation of lives and uh, the vision of entrepreneurship, the graduates here today, uh, Rising Tide Capital's, Capital's mission is an exemplar of one of Dodge Foundation's vision of a just and equitable New Jersey. When I was asked to give some words of inspiration uh, to the graduating class of 2022, I think I said yes faster than I've said yes to anything in my life because I wanted to be in community with all of you. Um, it is truly my pleasure and honor to be here with you all today. And um, I feel like I'm in a community of some kindred spirits. And I really do hope that I can share some nuggets of wisdom, not as a funder or the president and CEO of the Dodge Foundation, but as a neighbor and a champion, a cheerleader for you all. And I will have to just say from the bottom of my heart, it is just a really great privilege to be here in community with your families. That I can't just tell you how much that means to me. So transformation and change, you know, you're embarking on something new. You're all lifelong learners and risk takers. Um, you've, you've decided to try something different and new and you've made a huge commitment in addition to your you know, busy, busy lives to do something different. And so what I wanted just to share with you are just a couple of lessons that I've learned um, just in over my life and my career and just a couple of stories. Again, just as a, a human, as a neighbor and your champion. Own your wisdom, folks. You bring so much wisdom to the table. You have so many tools now, but that wisdom that you bring, your experience, your life, your voice, it is so important. And we need to hear it. And we want to hear it. There's going to be moments where you walk into a room and you feel like an imposter. Like maybe you feel like you don't want to share your voice and your wisdom. And I would just encourage you to own it. You know, I kind of learned this lesson um, over the last 30 years, kind of the long way. <laughs> My career has just kind of zigged and zagged and I tried a lot of different things. I was a lawyer, then I had the opportunity to move over to the business and I was really afraid to change and do something that was uncomfortable. But in so doing, it actually gave me more courage and it made me a better leader. It made me stronger to make a decision to step away from a corporate life um, to, based on my values and my principles, because I believed in something that wasn't aligned with what I believe my former employer believed in. And so I made the decision to step away. And here I am in a place called the Dodge Foundation. I didn't grow up in philanthropy. I don't know philanthropy, but I do know a lot of things. And it took me quite some time to really feel my voice and have that confidence to go into places and share my wisdom. And so I just share that with you. You have so much experience in your lives, so much wisdom to share, own that wisdom. But sometimes it's hard. So how do you share that wisdom and how do you know um, who can you talk to? So which brings me to my second nugget. And you've probably heard this one before, but I just wanna reinforce it. It's about surrounding yourself with some trusted advisors, people who care about you, people who wanna see you succeed. And guess what? You have 162 peers around you in community, people you can go to. You should feel free to ask for help. You should feel free to, to brainstorm with folks when the going gets tough, but even on the good days and share and celebrate those wins because you're gonna have them. 
And when I think about a kitchen cabinet or a board of directors or whatever you, whatever you want to call it, think about those people like your mentors, your sponsors, those who champion you. Oftentimes, my parents are involved. Elders are involved. But I also think about my peers, and I also think about my children, which brings me to my last nugget for you. It's so important, and you've heard this before, but again, I'm going to reinforce it, to take good care of yourself. Your care, your rituals, the things that fill your cup, the way that you really can, um, you've heard this, the, the oxygen mask. My mom gave me the best advice the day that I brought home my first child. You take care of yourself because you cannot take care of that child if you're worn out. And so I try to find these practices, these small rituals that fill my cup, that bring me peace and joy. But I will say that over my career, I kind of learned this lesson a little bit the hard way. I had to step down and step aside to really enjoy my family and my life and those, those around me that give me joy. In my corporate life, I will say in, um, that I wasn't brave enough for many, many years to be out and proud that I'm a mother, that I'm a mother of five beautiful children. And I didn't say that because I felt like I couldn't really share that. But I learned though, the family is my priority and you all have your priorities. And I vowed that one day when I was in charge, that I was gonna say on the first day of my new job at the Dodge Foundation, that my family comes first and your priorities should come first. And you should say and name those priorities and you should set your boundaries and you should do what gives you joy and fills your cup. So you have the tools, you have the wisdom, you have each other, you have you and your heart and your priorities. And I will just say, you have many, many champions. So I'm gonna end our little talk today with something that I usually start with, which is just a deep breath in and a deep breath out and an invitation to join me, to bring it all in, enjoy this moment, and sigh it out and know that you are in a community of care, that we have your back and you have many champions. Congratulations, class of 2022. I'm so proud of you. <laughs>